Babe? Yeah? You've got a parcel. I've put it on the table for you. Alright. You happy? Yeah. Well, today's video is just going to be about this, isn't it? Definitely. Uh -huh. Hello, you're through to Wops on TV, and today we're going to be opening the Cursey box. I've been waiting a long time for this. Since the first release of it, that's when it first started for me, and I had to get it. But then, obviously, lockdown happened, and all the other stuff that made it stop, and Games Workshop technically said they didn't exist anymore. I went to like eight, nine Games Workshops to try and get one. Could not get one at all. So I've finally got one. And uh, just having a look at the sprues and how gorgeous they are. Just these are the hero sprues that you're looking at, like Captain Amelia Bascroft and Queltis the Exile and and Jelson Darok. He's my personal favourite out of all of them. Uh, but these look absolutely stunning on the amount of detail that they've put into all of the actual characters and even the bad guys, like Rudakar the Wolf and. Targilius the Chamberlain uh, they just scream character on, on, on how much detail they've put into the models and it, it's perfect I'm going to say, spend so much time on these to make them look perfect so I can play the board game with my friends or whoever wants to play with me in future now a lot of models in this can be played in the actual Age of Sigma game uh, the Vags gear and the zombies, everything like that can be played in actual Age of Sigma. Um, they do give you a, a war scroll with this. Like if you ever open the box set of Blackstone Fortress, all the characters in there, like the spindle drones and stuff, can be used in 40k as well. Not that you ever see anyone use them, but it just gives you that option for the amount of gameplay you can do. So you're not just limited to a board game. You can play it on multiple platforms. Now I remember this being teased uh, about two years ago or one and a half years ago where it was like Gozlav the Gravekeeper. That was the model that everyone was raving about at the time. And the models that I like the most in this is very petty of me because I'm a bit of a Skaven player. I, I do like the little rats. They're just little swarms of rats just make a nice touch to everything. It also gives that sort of open door for Games Workshop to say do a Skaven side to Curse City. You, you never know, a bit like Vermintide. If you've ever played Vermintide, they've got multiple different parts of Vermintide. It's not just Skaven. So we're just going on to the uh, last sprue and you can see all the... Uh, zombies and undead sort of and bats the, the little little tiny bats and rats as i said before rats i'm obsessed with the rats but they're, they're just so so detailed and so gruesome so we'll move on to the rest of the actual box you get this weird piece of paper with some blood on it but it was a bit dinted i don't know why it was dinted probably just because of the sprues uh, then you get the dice from the game, uh, nothing really that special. Uh, the Curse City rule book you get here, uh, you get multiple little books inside, and then the instruction booklet as well. We can see all the uh, different models there built up. You also get all the cards in the game, and all the like empowerment, and all the stats for each sort of individual person that you fight against uh, all the bases there's a lot of bases just make sure you if you are getting this box set make sure you do put the right bases on the right models because i've seen people put wrong bases on stuff and it's you can't really change it that much if you've glued it down uh, these are nice these are tokens to represent time of day 
and night and then obviously the board pieces are in there as well and you get they give you a little little bags to put everything in which is also nice of them uh, so in the rule book it just shows you over how to play the game and how to actually get into the quest into the actual game itself and explain all the rules to yourself you also have a quest book uh, and showing all the different missions that you can do all the different maps and all the stats it's just it's just pretty cool to be honest there's loads of different missions but online i've seen that it's quite easy at first to play with and then it gets harder and harder and harder by the end of it it's nearly impossible to complete uh, that's the envelope for completing the game you don't open that until you completed it i'll stay true to that i will not open it until i've completed the game as i said before you get the war scroll for the actual age of sigma game and all the stats of everyone you can play in actual Age of Sigma. And then you get the little instruction book on how to build all of the models. And they're, they're quite simple. Uh, you'll see in a second, I had a little issue with one of the models, uh, Jensen. Uh, Derek, he's like cape. It weirdly fits. It's, it's, it's a weird way it fits. It like goes back on itself. Uh, but I'll show you now. On, I'm going to only build two models here. As I sort of wanted to take my time on uh, building them and painting them. So I was kind of stuck on the way to paint the models. Like I wanted to go everything all out, say armor silver and all the actual proper colors for every model. But then I've seen online as well through different posts over the last year and a half that people have just painted all the models black and red. So it gives a sort of Curse City vibe to it. But I think I'm going to do a mix of both. I'm going to do the actual painting of the models proper. Here you, are, you see the cape. It's just a weird fit. you got to like sort of go back on yourself on it to fit that in. So on the painting, I'm going to do them all in the proper colours. But then I'm also going to add a red glow to every single model. So it gives the sort of Curse City vibe as well. I do like the black, well, the blacky grey and red color scheme for the whole box but if you wanted to play them in age of sigma i don't think it would match with your say army uh, if you're just doing them black and red so i wanted to do a bit of both so i can use them in age of sigma as well as the board game so as you can see jelson Darak has is judgment weapon which is a gun on his back that fires stakes which is pretty pretty sick to be honest uh, and then he's got his hammer to just whack it in there straight into the heart uh, but he also has the the ardent blade which is uh three attacks four to it three to wound minus one rend d3 damage it's pretty good it's all right good for killing uh the death keyword sort of models so now I've gone on to the Vagsir, I think it's called. And this guy is amazing in combat and how fast he is. He can charge up to 18 inches, rolling 3d6. And he's just brutal in combat on 3s hit, 2 to wound, minus 2 rend, d3 damage. He's really, really good. That's just with his maw. I also thought this model was really good for, say, Chaos players in 40k as a night lord's chaos spawn or a, a chaos demon prince he is quite big to be honest you'll see me compare him to jelson uh, in a minute when i built him he he was a nice build he wasn't hard to build it just feels right when you built him coming to think of it actually looking at the model itself makes me think of wolfen uh, from space wolves but then, obviously, the batty sort of features to him just, just make it pure Night Lord's madness. Because there is a fair few gaps on these models, because they're all fit nicely, but I, I will be green stuffing all the little gaps and corners, as you can see, like, under his arm and round it round his neck. Yeah, I'll be green stuffing that with green stuff, liquid green stuff just so it has a smoother finish to it, and then the paint goes on better, hopefully. Now, you'll be able to see that he does fit on his base very nicely, and my favourite part of the model has come up. 
<laughs> a little rat. Uh, and that's just, it's just cute. And it makes the model look so, so much bigger uh, because he, he, it's a tiny, tiny rat. And it just makes a good size comparison for the rest of the sort of board game. I was just amazed at the amount of detail on just the rat itself, as well as like the Vagsier. And now he's sort of complete. He just needs his head. Uh, as you can see, the rat looks absolutely tiny on him. So I just added the face and now I'll just compare it to Jelson Darok, just so you can see a size comparison. And look how big that thing is. It, it looks scary and I would be scared to fight like in Cursey. I don't, I don't know how often he comes up, but he, he, he would be like one of your worst nightmares. So hopefully when I have fully built the Cursed City, I will be able to get a few games on the channel. And I'm going to be painting it up first, so it's not anytime soon that it will be on. But please, if you've got Cursed City already and you've played a couple of games, please tell me how it went. It sounds amazing to play. I can't wait to play it. And hopefully I'll get some videos of, of Curse City being played on the channel. Uh, but for now, uh, thank you ever so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.